Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Sharing Knowledge Video Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you 4 ways to enable and disable file history backup feature in Windows 11. The file history feature automatically backup your files to a drive that you selected. So in case you lose your original files, you can always restore them using the backup drive you have created file history. It also provides additional settings for adding, removing and excluding folders for backup. However, most of the users are unfamiliar with this tool, they must want to know about how they can enable or disable this tool on their system. Hence, we will be showing you different methods for enabling and disabling file history backup. That is what we are going to do. So watch the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's start. Method number one, activate and deactivate file history backup through the Windows settings. To do that, open the settings by pressing Windows logo key plus I. On the Windows settings page, click on the update and security option. On the update and security settings, in the left pan, select the backup option and then go to right pan. Here, click on add a drive button to add a drive for backup. Click on it. It will show you available internal and external drives that can be used for file history backup. In this PC, I have one external USB flash drive. You can choose the one available drive. After choosing the drive, it will show the toggle button turned on for automatic backup my files. You can see here, like this. You can turn off this toggle switch. You can turn it off if you want to backup it manually. Okay. You can also use more options here under toggle button. Click on it. This will open more options for your backup settings. here. You can click the backup now button to start the backup right now without scheduling. You can also schedule backup with different timing and set the keeping backup time like this as you wish. You can choose down below. You can see here by default it will add user folder to the list. Next here you can add a folder. Click on add a folder under backup these folders to include folders in file history backup like this as you wish. Next also you can exclude folders by clicking the add folder under the exclude this folders option like this as you wish. Okay. And you can also simply click on the folder and then choose the remove option like this. Okay. If you want to disable the file history in Windows settings, simply go to backup options and click on the automatic backup my files toggle switch to turn it off. This will only stop the automatic backup. Okay. If you want to completely stop the file history backup, go to more options under the toggle switch. Then scroll down the bottom and click on the stop using drive button. This will remove the backup drive and completely disable the file history backup. That's it. This is how you can enable and disable file history backup through the Windows settings. That's all. Next is method number two. Enabling or disabling file history backup through the control panel. Control panel is an old way to customize the settings for Windows. You can turn on and turn off file history anytime through the control panel. To do that, open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R. In the run dialog box, we'll type control and press the enter key to open the control panel. You can also open the control panel through the Windows search feature. In the control panel, change the view option to get the all control panel settings like this. Under control panel settings, now click on the file history settings. In the file history settings, click on the turn on button to enable the file history backup. Once the file history backup is enabled, now you can get access to the left side additional settings for the file history. If you have another drive, you can click the select drive, click on it. It will show you available drives that can be used for file history backup. Okay, as you wish, you can choose here. Also, you can exclude folders by clicking on the add a folder under the exclude this folders option. You can see here like this as you wish. Next in the advanced settings. You can also schedule the backup with different timing and set the keeping backup time like this. Okay, as you wish. If you want to stop this file history backup through the control panel, just to go to the same file history settings and click on this top link. It will stop file history backup. 
then we will see run now link if you want to run file history backup click on it that's it if you want to completely stop the file history backup click on the turn off button that's all method number three enabling or disabling file history backup feature using local group policy editor by using the group policy editor user can allow or prevent any of the settings for windows administrators can disable the file history feature completely from group policy editor this will also disable the settings in windows settings and control panel okay to do that keep in mind if you are using windows home edition then kindly skip this method and use the next method you must be signed in as an administrator okay let's start open the run dialog box by pressing windows logo key plus r in the run dialog box field type gpedit.msc and press the enter key to open the local group policy editor in the group policy editor navigate to the following path here expand the computer configuration by clicking on the folder key then expand the administrator templates folder then expand the windows components folder here select the file history folder and then go to right pan in the right pan double click on the setting named turn off file history it will open a new window now change the toggle button from not configured to enabled like this then to save the changes click on apply and click on ok this will disable the file history feature access completely on your system if you want to enable it back just to change the toggle option back to not configured or disabled then to save the changes click on apply and click on ok this will enable the file history feature next method number four enabling or disabling file history backup feature using registry editor if you are using the registry editor then you will need to create the missing key and value for that specific setting this will also disable the settings from windows settings and control panel okay to do that open the run dialog box by pressing windows logo key plus r in the run dialog box we will type reg edit and press the enter key to open the registry editor in the registry editor navigate to the following path under the registry editor in the left pan expand the hkey local machine by clicking on the folder key like this then expand the software folder then expand the policies folder then expand the microsoft folder and then expand the windows folder key here by default the file history key will be missing but you can create it right click on the windows key then go to new option and choose key option it will create a new key then name the new key as file history without space like this okay you can see here in the file history key on the right pan create a new value right click on the blank space on the right pan and then go to new option and choose the dword32 value then name the value as disabled like this okay finally double click on the disabled and set the value data to 1 and click on ok this will disable the file history feature access completely on your system okay next if you want to enable it back you can simply delete this new value or set the value data to zero and click on ok this will enable the file history feature okay that's it i hope this video helps you thanks for watching and supporting please don't forget to hit like and subscribe your contribution is more confidence to us if you have any issues so please let me know in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos once again thanks for watching and supporting see you in next video bye take care